Minecraft video I rarely make these. Yeah, apologies for that, I have been busy with a lot of stuff, so... Yeah, so this is going to be a bit different because um, I'm going to be showing you guys this show that I've been a part of for a while, and it's going to be the setting for the my new Minecraft project, really. I'll get into that a bit later. But yeah, this is the server called Westbury, made by my good friend Thuni. I will put a link to his channel in the description. And yeah, so... so when you do, if you end up joining Westbury, this is where you'll spawn it to playing Crash Landing. I will get to that in a sec. But, um, yeah, this server has been operational for years now. And I, I, never, I didn't realise how long until I, until I had a look at some of this. Yeah, it's been active since November 2016, which is uh, quite an achievement, I'll say. So, so the list of people here is like people who have like contributed to the server, like they've like they've uh, built a structure or something. I'm also on there, and I will show you what I built a bit later on. All right. So I'll show I'll show you the plane build. So I think this is really cool. But like it's a like kind of like a like one of those commercial jets that you'll normally like fly in when you're going on holiday or something. And I, I really love to build it. It's really cool. I love I love like the fire effect. But that is really impressive. And then for some reason it's also got this this ribbon like, like this flag on the back. Uh, tw oh, oh, so it's 2023. Right. right. Okay. All right. I will. I think it's time we went down to Westbury. So welcome, welcome to Westbury. So yeah, this is going to be the setting for my Minecraft project. I'm going to discuss that in detail now. So for those who read like the community posts on my main channel, you'll know I announced like a Minecraft project I was working on with my friend Thuni. That was kind of in the aftermath of me exiting Brandon Prime's Minecraft series, and uh, I am I'm when I'm not going back to that. Like we've, we've gone our separate ways. Nothing's going to change that. We, we've both moved on, really. So yeah, don't expect to see me on Brandon's channel or Brandon on my channel anytime soon. Other than the other collabs we've already done together. Well, Brandon's taken down all the ones I did with him, but all the ones he did with me are still currently up. And also, Refresh is currently available to watch again. So fun. So I don't, I don't really get a lot of spare time these days, so all this is kind of new. I, I I tend to just come on here for a bit and then leave, but yeah. So we've got, some, we've got a couple of uh, market stalls here, so fisherman's stand, uh, a butcher stand for meat and chicken, and vegetables and fruits, like farm foods and such. One thing I actually love about Westbury is all, all the structures that they've built. All of these are really impressive. And and, and Foony, who is who's a good friend of mine and who very much built some of the stuff on the server, he is really talented. That like there, there's been a lot of effort made to like actually build all of this. And the, this is just like the this is just like the like the main area of Westbury. There is so much more. But how do you get to those places? I I hear you ask. Well, there is a train station that takes you to different parts of the map, and I will get to that a bit later. There's a lot of really cool buildings. I'm yet to actually build my own house here. Um, I actually have built a structure here, as mentioned earlier, but I'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, there's a lot of great places here that have been built. Some of them are really impressive. I'm not sure what kind of building this is. I'm get... Right. So, moving on. Uh... So I think this is like an armor shop of some kind, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we've got a couple of really nice houses. Oh, this one, this one's really cool, I like this, like the little uh, balcony connecting it. Very cool. Now as expected, because like there's a lot of water around, there are a couple of bridges. This one is really cool, I love this one. Uh, we've, got a couple of, we've got a couple of night lights here, so once night time comes, like the trapdoors will flick open and the redstone lamp will come on. I think I, everyone, you'll understand that concept. 
We've also got a lighthouse here, which I really like. This is really impressive. I like, I like this one. And then we've got a nice windmill here. It sounds, this reminds me of some of the stuff that I built on uh, I built on Brandon server when we made refresh. There's some, some really good buildings here, some a lot of good structures. Uh, we've, got a nice, we've got a little uh, we've got a barn here. Okay, let me show you. Yep, yeah, we've got dinner bone, Jeb, uh, the, the, the color changing sheep, and the upside down. There. Like you, like you'll understand these hacks if you've played Minecraft for quite a while, like me. So, so we've got what I can assume is like a smelting thing or something. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we've got we've got a redstone wheat farm owned by Weezo. Wheat. Wheat Co. Alright. Yeah, I misread that. So yeah, I've actually tried I actually tried to sell not too long after I joined the server and it is really impressive. I'm, like this is a really good structure. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'll, I'll breeze past a couple of things. There's some there's a lot of good structures here. Like, I've, I've mentioned that to death. Uh what is a wooden house? It's actually a nice house, I like this. There's also Chinatown, they're, they're, this has some of my favourite buildings in the server, like these are all really nice, so these are all really good. But yeah, these, these, this, this Chinatown bit it is really impressive, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good buildings in the server anyway. Alright, we've also got... We've also got this place. To be completely honest, I can't remember what this place is. I think it's like a like a Persia base or something. But like, I'm, I'm sure people are going to correct me in the comments. So, yeah. uh, we've, like, 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 there's too much for me to even count. And I will show off two of my contributions to server. I, I built I built a larger building type structure, and then there I built I built this. Now, if you've been on the internet for long enough, you will easily be able to tell, yes, it's a, bo it's a bottle of Prime. But more specifically, the Ice Pop flavor. And nobody knows I built it, until now, though, because people are going to be watching this. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so, then, right, so the Prime bottle, that is... That's the one people don't know about, that, like, no one on the server knows I built a last bottle of Ice Pop Prime. And this... This is the, this is the first thing I built when I came on the server. Now it wasn't originally built here; it was built around the around a desert area. But uh, Boone, being the technical wizard he is, managed to move it here. Not sure how he managed to do it, but we will go on. So, welcome to McFoonies. Yeah, I think I think someone else had plans to put McFoonies, so I beat them to the punch on this one. Um, all right, so there's not a lot to unpack, but. Oh, like originally, like it was, it was meant. I was gonna use like some, uh, some clay. Like I was gonna use like red and red and white clay. But that, then I thought, no, nah, that's too much like KFC. So I did. I ended up using some clay. And I think it was either clay or concrete. I can't remember which one. But I used it for some of the details in here. So this is the indoor seating area. Now I, I achieved this by putting down some spruce trap doors, a rail, and a minecart. Uh, the trap doors are important because it, it stops the minecart from moving and the wood slab uh, kind of does the same thing. Uh, right, on here is well, I guess it's a little menu I made to give the place a nice touch. And there is also outdoor seating, like the same, same, same like seating bits from the inside as well. And this is Melvin the cashier. So if you if you give him golden nuggets and he will place a food order for you. <laughs> right. So, the, so this is well. This is the menu. There's five pages, believe it or not. So burgers: a plain burger, cheeseburger, chicken burger, fillet of fish, the Funi special, which is just a wagyu burger with cheese, bacon, and spicy sauce. Then there's chicken, three-piece bucket, spicy chicken wings, the McFoonie signature sandwich, chicken nuggets. I mean, it, this is kind of a mix between McDonald's and KFC, but I don't see anyone complaining. Then there's size, like uh, fries, medium or large, halloumi fries, that, that's because McDonald's recently brought them back, uh, mozzarella dippers, coleslaw and salad, then desserts, cookie, brownie, the McFoonie sundae, which I never came up with an explanation for, 
just some regular ice cream, muffin, and an apple pie. And then on drinks, water, Sprite, Coke, Pepsi, and a milkshake. So yeah, that is McFoonies. The first of my two contributions to the server, and I, didn't, I showed you the Prime Ball, all that was my second contribution. And again, no one knows I built it until now. But yeah, to be completely honest, there's a lot of great structures here, and I'm looking forward to uh, using a lot of them in the Minecraft series. I can't remember where it is, but there's a really... I think there's like a like a sword portal somewhere, like to see those on, on like the internet and everything. I can't remember where it is, though, so uh, it, might, it might take me a while to find it, but... Oh well. Right, this is one. This is one of the bigger places. Well, as you can tell, it is a. It's a prison. Like you got, so you got the watchtowers. You got the. You got a big prison. You got a little courtyard here with a basketball hoop, which I think is really impressive. Yeah, like all, all the structures here are really well built. I mean, yeah, they're they're great. But to go in depth on the Minecraft project I'm working on with Foonie. It was originally going to be a series, but I've decided to actually like uh, rework it into more of a short film. Uh, I think I think that worked because like when you do a Minecraft series, you've got to have like a really big commitment to it. I learned that during Refresh, and uh, yeah, but I think I think doing like a like a short film will work better because you don't have to, like you don't have to like schedule too many times to record, which I think works. I can't find that sword portal yet. I can't remember where it is. But yeah, there's, a, there's loads of great stuff up here. And this is, uh, this is like an abandoned military base of some kind. And there is the, there is the bottle of prime again. No, again, until now, no one knows I built that. No one does. Yeah. So just to come to like this rough bit of desert, around here is where I first built the Foonies, but uh, this is like where I first built it and then Foonie moved it closer to like where the spawn and where everything else is, which I think was really nice of him and yeah. Uh, if you go over that bridge, McFoonies is literally right here. And there's the sword portal. This is actually a this is a really cool build, I love this. Yeah, there there's also a lot of more obscure builds which we'll get to, but uh, Yeah, this this portal build is brilliant. I I love how the nether axe coming out of it, like it's more like a corrupted portal. I, that's, that's really cool. I don't think I've seen this one before. So. Oh, it's like a like a modern-ish house. And it looks, like, looks like someone built another McFoonies. Probably, I'm not. I don't know who built this one. There's also what I can only assume is some kind of theatre or something. I mean, there is a stage. I think there's kind of like a theatre or something where you two plays. Yeah, I, I don't know too much about the inner workings of West Free. I, I, I don't really play on here from time to time, but I, I thought this would be great to use for, for the series, which I think would be really cool. And I haven't got. A, I, I am working on story stuff for for the Minecraft short film, but um, I, right right now it's still more in more in the in progress stage, if you know what I mean. And we also have a we also have a space launcher, and we've got a nice big rocket here. But yeah, by all means, all this is all really impressive. I like this band. I think it's like no, oh, it's hands on. Okay, that has a nice touch. <coughs> okay, and we've got a very large hotel. And uh, yeah, this thing might need a bit of work, but by all means, still great. To look at, like I as mentioned, I, I don't really come on here too much. 
I've been working work has been offline recently, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure things out. Yeah, there's the train station. I'll I'll show that off in a minute. But like all this stuff, like I didn't build. The only things I built were the prime bottle and the coolies, which uh, I think one person doesn't really know about. I'm not I'm not entirely sure if he planned to build it or not, but. Okay, and we, there's also a bank. Now, I can't remember how this operated, but um, I'm, I'm sure that, I'm sure Thuni has a video or something of how that operated. Yeah, by all, but, yeah, it's great. Brilliant. So yeah, there's all, by all means some brilliant, brilliant stuff on here. And, well, now I, I was going to do like a giant tour, but I haven't... Uh, I haven't found my way around, around this entire server yet, so uh, hopefully in a follow-up video I can get Phoenix to join me and we'll go on like a little tour. And maybe I can get Sofa to join. He's all he's Phoenix fan who also built some stuff on the server as well, so yeah, that should be fun. And now we return to Spawn. So yeah, the, again, these are all the people that helped in some way to actually build everything you've seen on the server. I don't know who I don't know who built what, other than me of course. Like I'm, like the prime ball and the footage are all I built on here. I didn't, and to be honest, I like I really do like this play. What was this text? Oh, it's a to do list. Sorry. Anyway, uh, right. I think that is gonna very much conclude things here on Westbury and. Yeah, you can expect to see this in the Minecraft short film when it comes out, and I will probably I will be posting some new details soon, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the gaming channel. I know I don't really upload on here as much anymore. I I have a life now, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.